We are learning about one of the first lawsuits related to the condo collapse. A class action lawsuit has been filed with the Bradstone Law Firm. That looks to compensate the victims. Local 10 has seen the filing documents and know the plaintiff says the owners of the condos failed to secure and safeguard the property and the lives of the people who live there. Bradstone also gave us a statement which reads in part, quote, as a lawyer, I can't fix what is irreparable, but what I can do is fight to immediately fully compensate these victims so that they can focus all of their energy on healing as best they can. Our investigation continues, but we strongly believe this was preventable. A lawsuit is necessary to force all parties to preserve documents and records regarding this building and ensure a thorough investigation into this tragedy. We're committed to compensating these vulnerable families, whether they've lost a loved one, lost a place they call home, or suffered injury. That lawsuit coming as questions persist about the building. It was undergoing a recertification process. It was built in 1981 and work was already underway at the building. Local 10's Jeff Weinseer has that story. Even seasoned engineers are baffled. They say a number of factors had to have contributed to this morning's collapse. An FIU study back in 2020 shows this building had shifted one or two system failures uh, would not cause a, a catastrophic failure like this. So more than likely, again, it's, it's multiple things that have contributed to this. Even veteran engineers are baffled. Investigators may look at a 2020 study at a Florida International University where the school found that the land around the Champlain Towers area had been sinking at an alarming rate during the 1990s. I was like shocked because we saw that the building moved 20, 30 years ago, which means that whatever caused the, the collapse didn't start this year. It started many years ago. But this professor says the sinking and settling itself would likely not cause the collapse. This building has been under a lot of scrutiny lately with the 40 year recertification of the building. Surfside Commissioner Charles Kessel says engineers were at this building just yesterday as the building was going through a 40 year recertification. There have been a lot of engineers involved in the plans and uh, with recent inspections. As part of the 40 year recertification, the building hires an engineer that performs electrical and structural inspections. If deficiencies are found, they must be corrected. There was roof work being done here. To my understanding, there were some, some cracks from that project, minor cracks, but they were, they were just patched up. The pictures you see here taken by six term former Surfside Mayor Paul Novak. It'll all come out. It's just way too soon to make any type of guess or do any speculation. It would be the wrong thing to do. Right now, it is unclear if the town knew about the FIU study. What is clear, it is likely the cause will take a long time to figure out. In the town of Surfside, Jeff Weinseer, Local 10 News.